Hey, 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 welcome back everyone to Sim Aviator, a week's break, doing lots of good to us, but wow, 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 it's always great to be back to you guys, welcome, welcome, welcome everyone, YD Simulations, welcome, says the first one to come here, YD. You probably were the first one. Welcome. Greenerson, welcome to the stream, Greenerson. But no jump. Welcome, welcome. Mars Aviation, hello, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Finally got to catch the streams as Mars. Absolutely glad to have you here, buddy. Welcome, welcome. Gemini Jets 777, hello, welcome to the stream. To this guy's studios, welcome, welcome, welcome. What's the leg? We're going from Baghdad to. We're going to Kuwait. We are going OKBK, uh, ORBI to OKBK. Those are the IKOs that we're gonna be flying. <laughs> Frankfurt XD, IFX, my man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Pleasure to see you. <laughs> to this guy, that's when are you going to get your S1 as well? Oh, you know what? You know what about that? The S1? Um, I actually um, messaged one of the uh, mentors there and they said like they're super busy, so I, I don't think I'm gonna get a slot anytime soon. I'll, I'll see if I can do something again. But yeah, I really want to get that too as soon as possible. But welcome everyone, pleasure to see you all here. 
Um, here we have our beautiful Kuwait Airways flight 452. Beautiful livery there. I think that's this is one of their older liveries right here, but still nonetheless super super beautiful. The tail number kind of going between their logo, so nah, we don't we can't do anything about that. But anyway, let's jump into the cockpit, get going with our batteries here. Battery one coming on, and oh wow! So you you got recommended for it to this guy, buddy. That's that's so cool, man. That's uh, that's awesome. All right, so batteries on, external power available. Um, pumps can come on. Beautiful textures, man. Bye bye wire guys are doing a great job here. Wait for the battery. Let's get the IRSs aligned. Uh, in the meantime, let me turn off this music and let's get back to our regular music. So here and let's see YouTube music. Here we go. All right, let me let me know if the set volume is good enough for you guys, or I can bump it up as always. History gamer, welcome aboard, my friend. Hey yo, I'm five minutes late, man. You know what? Five minutes? Man, the flights are more than that late. Yeah, you're, you're all good, buddy. You're all good, man. Really, really, really appreciate each and every one of you coming in here. Holy, the textures are insane. Absolutely, man. That's that's the experimental version. So uh, just so you guys know, it's it's the experimental version. That's why the textures are much improved there. Uh, and we might have a few quirks that we always have with this plane, but, you know, it's fine. It's fine. MFS has changed in the right direction, absolutely, man. With the CR day coming in, oh boy, things are getting better and better each day. IR2 is on alignment now, batteries. Once that light goes off, we can go ahead and get the IR3 going in there. But I hope you all are having a great day. I hope you all had a great last week. Um, and that's 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 pretty much it, guys. Like just just enjoy, have fun, keep flying. You know, that's that's all we are here for. Sharing the love for aviation. And just just have a little fun just having a little fun here we go all right so strobe lights are on for some reason we're gonna put them to auto here um, and nav lights can come on as well here beautiful music I love that that music going on right now I, I hope you guys can hear it well and clear all right so overhead is done now we do have um, this uh, fly pad here I am not sure exactly how to use that but we'll see if, if we need it we'll use it anyway there we go so there's this actually shows you the map and things like that which is kind of cool um, but let's see this patch uh, OFP so okay we don't have that yet it's in it's in up and then OFP is NA here so maybe there's a way we can figure that out but uh, let's see if we can do this from sim brief nope that's not gonna work all right round. oh wow look at that look at that can you believe that what happens if oh let's let's go on the outside and see what's going on here oh we, we probably can't see oh wait wait where, where are you going oh boy oh hello wait 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 wait, wait. our passengers are still boarding no <laughs> what's going on there all right they're they're coming back all right and the doors are opening now that is good uh fuel truck let's call the fuel truck uh was it there I have no clue what we're doing right now, but we're we're gonna go. We're gonna go ahead and do some of the stuff here. But this is this is kind of really cool. Not gonna lie, absolutely beautiful stuff. It is indeed changing in the right direction. P PTU audible in the cockpit. Yes, we want that. Oh, and we can. Oh, this is so cool. Exterior volume might just bump that down a little bit, which is beautiful. And brightness can come up. This is this is amazing. This is amazing. All right, that sounds good. All right, let's go back to dashboard and we're going to go ahead into the MCDU, get this thing started here, bring the brightness up off that display. Uh, probably just a little too loud for me. Keyboard moved. Um, here we go. So uh, we're going to go to Atsu, I believe. Um, that's that's probably how we can bring our uh, sim brief data. So in it. Um, and then let's hit data request here. There we go. We got the flight plan in. Um, that's what we have here. Um, we're going to go ahead and get the ATIS information at uh, departure. Uh, wait, hold on. So we're going to do ORBI. Nope. 
think we missed a B. O R B I. Let's put that in the airport. Uh, and let's see if we can send. Format for printer. And then let's just see if we can do received messages right here. Uh, we're just gonna wait just a, just a second here to make sure we have received it. But I'll, the one more thing that I would like to see on this mod is actually being able to you know have that separately, you know, just so that you could do one thing here and then the other thing there. But let's see if we have it now. All right, there we go. We got the Aedis. Let's print. Oh wait, what? The Aedis is not available, so we're not going to hit print, but we shouldn't be doing that. So let's do one more thing. Uh, Metar Dep. Uh, hopefully Nightbot will give us some information right there. But let's go ahead and go to init. Um, before we forget, let's go ahead and bring up our fuel page. Um, if there's another way to do it, I think there's a lot that has changed on this plane. So if this is not the right way, let me know. But in the meantime, I'll bring pull up the flight plan for you guys. And... Uh, Let's hit interact. There we go. Beautiful. All right, the METAR is here, so it says zero one zero at three knots. Um, so we'll we'll keep that in mind. We'll keep that right there. Altimeter is one zero one two, so not too much far away from standard altimeter setting. All right, so here's what we need: fuel for today six six eight three. So six thousand. Now we'll take six thousand six hundred tons of fuel so that's that's 5,500 uh, and that's about uh, 34 say and let's do 35 that should be good okay that's very sensitive all right six 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 nine that's probably the exact amount we need all right so payload 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 let's go do this um, what do we have here 18.3 is the payload that we have, so which is right here. So we're gonna have to bump that way up. That's 16, 17, 18. All right, 18.4. Just gonna go 1% less, and we, we're gonna take that. We don't want to take more. We can take less, though. That is all good. Oh wait, hold on. Okay, so at least this is in kilograms. That is good. All right, great. I was like almost had a heart attack there. Oh boy. All right, so that's done. Uh, let's go in it request and uplink insert in progress. And there we have our route right here. Um, cost index is 40, which is correct. Uh, we're going to go hit IRS in it, which is good. You'll see actual flight plan uplink, which is good. So we're, we're good with this. Let's go to the init B here uh, and just uh, hope that comes up. All right, block fuel is. 6.6 .6 is what we're taking for today so block fuel we have that should come up all right perfect let's go to flight plan or be now we're gonna go check the departures the winds are zero one zero but pretty much just three knots so we could just take um which one do we take zero one i think that's the closest to the three threes so let me check navigraph real quick and then we can select what runway we need from here uh, we can we can actually take one five right. Let's go a little bit less of a taxi time there. So one five right. Obviously we don't have any SIDS. Um, this is the route here, by the way. You can get that as well. Exclamation point route. Ernob J, welcome, welcome, hello. Our new mod on the channel, Ernob J, welcome to the stream, and welcome to the mod team. Very very warm welcome to you, Ernob. All right, so here we go. Um, where's the route that I was gonna pick? All right, so you have the route right there. It's filed on WhatsApp, so we don't need that. So as you can see, there's no SID. We're gonna go no SIDs. All right, uh, all right, let's just insert. It's going good so far. The plane's behaving, I guess. <laughs> so, but we'll, we'll know once we're in the air and destination, arrival. So we're gonna check that. Um, there's obviously oh same runways. Oh wow, this is crazy. All right, so we'll, we'll do that later once we are closer to the airport. We'll get the METAR for there, and then we can go from there. Um, for radios, we're gonna go one to two decimal eight on Unicom here. We are on Watson. 
Here we go. One, two, two. Decimal eight. Well, mate, I'll be in the background. Check Discord. All right, let me check Discord. What's going on there? Um, Discord. Is it even on? Yeah, it's on. Oh, okay. Give me one second. I'm gonna fix that. All right. Just turned it down. All right, wonderful. So, MCDU looks like it's done. Um, I'm gonna check the perf page, um, and then I think the performance calculations are right here. Uh, manual in no. So this is uh, how was I? I forgot. Oh, maybe maybe it'll just pop up there. All right, there we go. Yeah, that does pop up. <laughs> That's what happens. Transition altitude 10,000 feet. That is perfect. Uh, flaps one is what we're gonna go, and we're gonna go toga takeoff. Um, yeah, All right, we're gonna go toga takeoff today. So flight plan here. Oh, buddy, hold on. My phone's misbehaving at the wrong time. All right, there we go. All right, um, this looks good. Everything is perfect. We are good. Let's go ahead turn on the APU here. And let's see if that's realistic. Not yet, not yet. So, but that's good. APU bleed can come on. We'll wait for the APU to come on as well. And then we'll start pushing that. We'll see, we, we can, we'll try using this one right here. Um, and we'll go from there. Here we go. Um, feel, no, that's good. We're gonna call for pushback. So we're gonna go call tug. And let's see what happens. All right, doors are closing. Jetway should probably go away, which it is. Pushback tug is coming in. Let's go ahead and turn on our beacon light here. And wing lights can come on as well. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. All right, let's get rid of the flight plan here. No longer need it. Here we go. Full brightness on that. PFD can come up as well. I'm gonna go ahead and turn these down since we don't use it. Maybe save a few frames if we can. It's not proved, not tested, but it's it's my theory. And there's, there's no harm doing that as long as you're not gonna use it. Uh, let's let's turn that down as well. All right, so that's good. Lapse one will be our departure. Let's check the APU is available now. So we can go ahead and disconnect. The ground power and let's see uh, I don't know what does blue mean it's on or does it mean it's off let's see what happens there it does say it's available but we don't have anyone connected oh he's coming in he's coming in he's coming here hey Bono jump says it's going well wonderful man thank you thank you thank you I hope you're doing glad it, I, I hope you're doing well as well <laughs> Um, just, just a pleasure to have all you guys here. All right, bro. We don't want it. We don't want it. Bro, just go away. We don't want external power here. Can, can we, is there a way to turn that off? Go, bro. <laughs> all right, wonderful. What we're going to do is let's, let's go ahead and start our pushback here. Uh, let me turn off the music here. And we can go ahead and start up the engine startup procedure. Uh, push back. Let's go. Parking brake off. And no data available, so we're going to keep that like that. Uh, and then let's see if that pushback thing works here. All right, we're moving. We're moving. Wonderful. And real quick. Then we're gonna have to go tail to the right. Pushback is acting different, probably, man. This is the first time I'm trying this, which is beautiful. Not gonna lie. This is great. All right, before I forget, let's go turn on the engines here. Engine number one to start with, and let's hear it row.
engine's coming alive. I uh, probably might have to stop the pushback here. I said the parking brakes. There we go. It's up and running the wheel. Uh, let's see if we can. All right, let's get rid of the tug. Hopefully, they're driving back wonderful. And let's start up the second engine, engine number two, right here. Oh, let's hear the PTU. I don't think I can hear it. But we do have N2 rotation there. All right, let's let's go on the outside here. That second engine coming alive. Here we go. Here that madness. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's jump back into the cockpit. Make sure our route is well and good, which it is. We're gonna taxi that side and then to the right. Um, I might as well just get Navigraph on the other screen here. So, um, there we go. And then uh, one second for the chat. Here we go. Oh, this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. So we're gonna take one fire right for departure here. The engines have come alive. So we're gonna go overhead. Uh, make sure. Uh, let's turn off the APU bleed and the APU here. Check the overhead for everything. That's correct. Uh, looking good. And we're good. One five right for taxi. Uh, let's do a little flight controls test before we move on. And let me bring up the camera for you guys. Controls cam in three, two, one, go. Wonderful. All right, here we go. Aileron right, left, rudders, and elevators. There we go. Flat is flat is just about one hour, but no, so it's it's not gonna be too long. Alrighty, let's do this. Parking brake off. Taxi nose lights can come to taxi. Landing lights can come to off position. One way turn off lights can come on as well. And let's start moving here. I'm gonna turn straight left. Just wait for it to start moving here. Let's bring that throttle all the way down. Don't want to speed up too much. And then what we're going to do is keep going here on Quebec. All right, idle throttle. Ground speed of 18 knots. Just a little bit too much for the turn, but we'll take that. And that's Quebec. Now we're going to turn right. Untangle. Oh, the taxi signs are absolutely missing. Oh, I thought of another route. What is that? Which one is that? Let us know in the chat, buddy. <laughs> that is crazy. All right, wonderful. All right, we're turning now. Oh, I totally forgot about that feature. Oops. And then we're going to turn right again to go to 1-5 right. Perfectly where we want to go. I wish I wish I wish the brightness of these displays was just a little bit more because like there's barely anything you can see. And Captain Maddie, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the stream, Captain Maddie. Pleasure to have you here just in time for the departure here. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> One like seven to eight hours. Oh boy. That is insane. Captain Maddie, hope you had a great day so far. And pleasure to have you on the stream, my friend. Welcome aboard. All right, so what we're gonna do is set up the auto brakes to max here. Let's arm the speed brakes. Just make sure we're on the straight line and then we're gonna go flaps one. All right, flaps are out. 
No. <laughs> Probably a captain's hat, I believe. Captain Maddie. <laughs> oh boy. Man, I would not want to know that. Alright, cabin check. Let's check the cabin here real quick. Wonderful. And then to our left would be the one five right, I believe. Oh uh, boy, wonderful. Yeah, that's that's one five right. I don't I don't know why it shows like a weird runway on this side. <laughs> Pants and a shirt. <laughs> oh, you don't want to hear that. Sometimes some things are best unanswered. <laughs> a pink dress due to a dare. Oh boy, see I told you. Oh, and why would you tell that to us, buddy? <laughs> but crazy there you got there, man. You got some cool little friends right there, buddy. <laughs> All right, here we go. Lining up. Um, before we'll, we'll just hold short before we line up on the runway here, um, which is looking good here. I was so wrong. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, here we go. Stop right here. Set the parking brakes here. I don't want that paper in the middle of the way. Flaps are done. Let's. Oh boy, one second. Let's let's click close that. All right, takeoff config. Let's check that. Looking good. A uh, sign. Signs. We did not turn on the seatbelt signs. No smoking signs can come to auto. Let's check the overhead one more time. Turn on the landing lights. Uh, I think it's one of these switches right here. Landing lights and nose lights to take off position strobe lights to on and ladies and gentlemen please be seated for departure all right here we go get your togas in the chat togas in the chat boys and girls ladies and gentlemen here we go let's move rolling Throttles bringing them down. Here we go, Toga incoming. <laughs> to the Sky Studios with the Toga here. All right. All right. So let's get that center line first. Push the nose down. Center line's good. And to stable. Toga. Thrust set. One hundred knots. Bring the stick to a neutral position here. We won. Rotate. Slowly bring the nose back up. I have no clue why we're going on that side here. Here we go. Flight directors are off. Let's bring them on. Here we go. Alright. Gonna keep climbing to 500 feet here and let's go gear up here. Let's turn left here. All right, lever climb. And let's bring the nose down here. Beautiful. We're gonna climb through the flaps up speed in a moment here, passing the S speed, climbing through it, flaps up. Alright, flaps are coming up, speed is rising. Now let's just continue that climb. We got the speed here for us. Uh, let's go ahead and go direct. 
Noldo and insert that and the flight director should pitch to the right side here we go see you later Baghdad see you later Kuwait here we come <laughs> All right, that's looking good the thrust levers are fine climbing 3600 maintaining 250 knots which is absolutely critical in these times never do that on watts and, and never do that if you want to realism let's give you a little oh look at that look at that looking so beautiful what's on the other side we have oh goodness the city of Baghdad beautiful visuals out here just look at that all right, back into the cockpit here, 5,000 feet. We're gonna continue climbing all the way up. Uh, let me use my rowel here, and let's bring that altitude up all the way to our cruise altitude of 3, 3,000, 33,000 feet. We're, we, Simbrief gave us 37,000, but we're just gonna climb up to 33,000, and we can go ahead and hit that, and then autopilot. Oh boy, that was that was really drastic for the autopilot, oh buddy. <laughs> that is crazy. Here we go. Alright guys. Uh, passing 5,000. We're going to go ahead and turn the nose light back to... Uh, we can't do that. Alright, we can turn off the runway, turn off lights at least. And continue the climb here. Watch the beautiful scenes outside. Great visuals. And I think I think I can I can go ahead and reduce the uh, what's what what is it uh, which where was it uh, settings right yeah I can go ahead and reduce the external master volume here just probably just a little too much here right there uh, let's see yeah this is, I don't even know if it actually helped we'll take it maybe it's not functional yet but look at that. There's, here's, the, here's the thing like you know it's if you're not going to like countries that are that have great imagery this is this is one thing I found at least on my sim I don't know about you guys but that's just something I found is that the the, the photo imagery is not perfect like you know it's it's, it's not like the highest resolution there uh, but, but yeah the rivers and everything look good just just some issues with the textures that I see every once in a while but look at that all right so next thing controls cam can go off we're passing almost passing 10,000 feet here oh boy the chat is super quiet guys all right passing 10,000 feet we're gonna turn off all those things landing lights can come to off position and so can the nose light uh, this is looking good passing 10,000 feet seat belt signs can come off here we go 10,000 and we are also past our transition altitude so we're gonna go to whoopsie second and standard on that and okay so those two are synced that is wonderful I think I think I can just turn off the key is there a way I can turn off the tablet I don't I don't need all right this is good the sound of me being quiet yep absolutely oh uh, I think I think the tablet uh you know what yeah one more thing we I, I just I did I did a complete reinstall of the sim um, the last time we flew this plane we had a lot of behavioral problems so I hope uh, it, it works now master caution is there because it says TCAS is standby so let's go ahead and bring that up here right here T-A-R-A real silent there we go all right guys so oh by the way i don't know if you guys i don't know if you guys saw it in the discord um before that let me turn on the music here so here we go all right so yeah i, I don't know if you guys saw on the discord but we got ourselves uh the 7478 on x plane 11 and we're gonna run a small delivery flight on thursday stream which is going to be from boeing field in seattle to Los Angeles which is my home airport so we're gonna we're gonna pretend that we're receiving the delivery of a new plane never flown that before on this on this streams what we have actually done is 
we got a test flight. Boeing gave us a test flight right there. So we, everything looks good and we're gonna bring it home. Uh, we're gonna bring it home. The, we're getting that as a part of our Simjet Wurchill. So if you don't know about that, Simjet Wurchill is a very own, as our very own virtual airline that we have on our Discord run and operated from Discord itself. We don't have a website or anything. Uh, we just, just go along, fly, you know, log flights tomorrow. Day after tomorrow will be when the stats of the first month come, comes out. And we got more than 50 flights already. So that is, that is wonderful. Thank you for all the pilots that are flying. Thank you to you and always a pleasure to have you guys wow, wow wow but yeah so with that being said will be a delivery flight for simjet and we're gonna have that 747 from boeing field to los angeles here's the announcement for the next stream happening here are <laughs> going over the clouds yeah you, you but no you know what uh, we're we're gonna do that we're gonna do that we're gonna add a lot of other features um, to the airline as it get, gets more active. We, I have a lot of things planned out, you know, like revenue, things like that. And just, just try to make it as close as possible. And we'll, we'll just, you know, we're getting some help from the community, beautiful people, Aviation Master, um, and, um, you know, Flight Simmer 7700, Arnold J, they're all really helping the airline, and we're gonna add more features as we go. Aviation Master, just talking about you. Hello, 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 welcome to the stream. <laughs> Pleasure to have you. To the Sky Studio says, when is that? That that if you're talking, if you're asking about the stream, it is it is the next stream on Thursday, the 747 delivery flight to Los Angeles. I'm I'm glad I live in Los Angeles. You know, it's not a long flight from Boeing Field. Otherwise, I wouldn't like if I, I if I get an Airbus plane, I can't I can't do that. You know, I can't. I can't fly all the way from Europe to Los Angeles or even I think they have they have a plant the, the Airbus planes are that are manufactured in, in somewhere somewhere near the East Coast but again that's a long flight to Los Angeles so maybe maybe we can add some jet hubs and get that flight delivered there you know well, we could probably do that I think I think I'm thinking of that yeah I'll figure out where we have that where where uh, we actually where the manufacturing plant for Airbus is and then we can actually get our A350 delivered there as well because we haven't flown that IRL yet not on not on stream we got the A350 as well beautiful sights Seattle to Tampa Bay yeah now we, we gotta figure out we gotta figure out where our Simjet hub would be. First hub is obviously my hometown, Los Angeles, our home city, I would say. Uh, that's, that's probably too loud, not gonna lie. Let's let's go for this view now. But yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking about, you know. Um, we, we gotta get more hubs. And once the pilots get a little bit more active, we start getting more more revenue and things like that, we can we can buy hubs, you know, we can buy spots at hubs. There's, there's, there's a lot of things you can do. Um, for realism, that's that, that's definitely something we want to do. And as more pilots become active, we'll obviously be looking for more people to help with the virtual airline. Again, nothing too serious. We're just doing it for fun, and it's it's glad it's it's you know very it's very fortunate that you guys are there. Sacramento, um, Sacramento, we we could have that, but probably probably one on the East Coast now, so we can deliver our Airbus planes. You know, that's that's. That's something that we want to do. Simjet delivery flight will be the one that we'll go for next. Wing lights can come on as well. And strobes can go back to auto, which is something I forgot. Uh, beacons obviously remain on. Beautiful. We're climbing. We're still climbing. Let's bring that map up here. And that's what our top of climb is going to be. Uh, I don't know if they've uh, managed to put top of descent there. It's not. Uh, I think I think you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just reduce the cruise altitude to 29,000 feet. It, it's not a very long flight. You don't want to waste most of your time climbing and descending. Uh, just you want to be at cruise for most of the time, if possible. Sometimes you know sim brief just gives like unrealistic. Um, oh, how do I say it? Unrealistic altitudes, you know, for for short flights, uh, which which is which is not really helpful. Aviation Master says, might try a Simjet long haul tomorrow. 
Uh, we'll make sure it's departure from LA. Oh, one man, where, where are you going to? Where are you going to? I, I also, I think I, I want to do a long haul as well. Maybe, maybe later tonight. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, ice detected. It says, but we're we're over moisture now, so we're we're just gonna leave it off for now. We're not gonna turn off our anti ice. Um, if I pass my OTS, I'm gonna start streaming soon. Wonderful, man! Can't can't wait to do that and learn a thing or two from you. <laughs> That is gonna be great, man. Wonderful, wonderful, and obviously, always, always, always a pleasure to have you guys. And you know, I, I just just like helping people. You know, it's as simple as that. Just just help people, spread the love. You know, there's there's too many, you know, bad people, shitty things that happen in in in, in any community, and it's, it's just not our our community. But you know, it's it's about how how you tackle that. You know. Uh, you know, to, most of the times they, they people there. There's always people that want to bring you down, uh, and that's that's where you know it comes from. You know, you fight through it. You show that you have the will to do it, and and pretty much, pretty much that man. Like, yeah, just just can't stress this, that enough. Like, you know, people people are always gonna you know no no matter what where you go, what community you're a part of. And one thing I can say for sure is that the flight sim community. It's definitely a really, really, really great community, and you know I, I I'm really happy to be a part of it. There was a time when I used to fly just by myself. I did not know about this court. I did not know anything. You guys have have you know given me a new way, a new uh, how do I say it, a new perspective. You know, there's so much going on. You know, beautiful streamers like XP72, you know, real pilots like Flight Deck to Sim, um, We Won. Just, 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 uh, you know, you can learn so many things about an airplane that you could never learn if you did not go to flight school. But these guys on YouTube are making that possible. So really, really kudos to everyone and everyone obviously who's, who's coming by on the streams, helping us grow, you know, sticking around, showing constant support. You know, those are the things that matter. Those are the things that keep us going. You know, it doesn't matter if it's like 50 people watching or five people watching or one person watching. It's it's about the joy that you get from talking to others. And no, yeah, that's it. I think that's that's a lot of that's a lot of talk there. <laughs> I'm not gonna bore you with more of that. But yeah, also guys, uh, we are constantly going to be trying to upload. Um, sim highlights, uh, sorry, stream highlights that you might have seen last week. Um, so we're, we're gonna post those. So be on the lookout for the best landings or some of some rough landings that we have on streams that you might have forgotten. Um, and there's obviously there will be videos, landing videos, arrival videos that will be coming out that that I fly on flights offline. You know, I already have one recorded for the 747 of the test flight I was telling you guys about, and there's obviously another one that's coming in. Um, that's the A350 test flight we took from Airbus. So all those all those landings will be coming to you on the channel very very shortly. And I really appreciate you guys always 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 stopping by, hanging out. You know. Be it a video or a stream, you know, you just can't ask for a lot of things. All right, twenty-nine thousand. Now, now, moment of truth. Can we stop that climb? Are we gonna stop that climb as soon as we hit twenty-nine thousand feet? If it does, then I'll be very happy. But I think the last two or three streams that we had, um, this was misbehaving. It wouldn't stop climbing. With everything's looking good right now, you know. Not gonna lie. Let's just zoom into it. It's ever so slight climb here trying to get to 29,000 feet and stop that climb but technically we're, we're already cruising here we're already cruising well that is good to see that is absolutely beautiful to see that the plane is now behaving all right, but before we before we go any further, let's bring up the fly pad. Let's calculate our top of descent, uh, and let's see how far we are from our destination. We're 253 miles from from Kuwait. Uh, we might even go over the ocean after a point. I'm not really sure, but I believe we'll be over the ocean after a while. Uh, there's there's obviously a bunch of clouds going on there. Here we go. Um, let's check. All right, so performance. 
like let's get that fetching from the sim we're doing 451 knots current altitude let's sink that 29,000 feet and we have indeed leveled off which is great news wonderful news I, I can't believe this has finally happened the reinstall did work <laughs> flat simmer told me you know check out the plane test it out before you stream you don't wanna you don't wanna be you know you know talking shit about <laughs> you know the, the sim or anything and I'm like bro it will work when it will work and I'll be happiest man here when it works and today it's shown that it's working so very 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 helpful all right so for target altitude I gotta check what altitude we um, the OKBK is so let me go to that and uh, let me check the taxi diagram here real quick 10 9 here um, so we're 133 feet so target altitude is uh, let's put like 150 oh boy So it says 91 miles before the target, which is good. Oh, that's why. Let me see if that works. And enter. I know you guys can see it, but you know there's nothing really to protect on sim brief. All right, so here, here's how it is. Let's get it from sim brief if we can. Oh, we got it now. That's wonderful. You can actually see the weather and things like that. That, oh, that is great. Oh, I should have done it before. All right, so yeah, that's that's where oh Kuwait is right here. So we're not we're not gonna go over the ocean, but the next leg, my friends, we are gonna go from Kuwait to Dubai, and then I think from Dubai, we'll probably go directly to Mumbai. Um, that's that's probably gonna be a slightly longer stream. I guess three hours is the flight time. For that, we will go. We'll race our horses and try to get there faster, but that's that's how it's gonna be. So we're gonna Dubai and then to Mumbai. And then we'll go, uh, if I remember correctly, we're going to go to Delhi. And then, guys, we're getting very close to Paro. Probably in the next three or four or five legs, we're going to be at Paro. Well, I'm, I'm really worried about that. I'm really worried about that. I've never flown that approach before, but we're definitely going to go to Paro. Believe it or not, we're going to do it. Uh, what do you guys think? How, how many of you have actually flown to Paro? I, I know Arno has, and he's crashed there as well. <laughs> uh, and you never know, I might I might crash there as well. But how many of you guys have actually flown and nailed that approach into Paro? Or at least, you know, forget about nailing it, but how many of you have actually even attempted to land there? So it just, just gives me goosebumps when I think about that approach. Wait, why? That's 240 miles. Why does it say two? Are we are we actually 240 miles from there? You know what? This is something. Oh yeah, actually, yeah, it's it's about 240 miles. So, but but that sh that number should go down. If it doesn't go down, then there is a problem with that, and then we can't trust that anymore. This, this is like, yeah, I, I don't know, I don't know, something seems off. My first flight to par, oh boy, negative 104 landing, man, I can't believe it. Hope hope you didn't run out of the runway or something, you know, with the float or anything, but if, if you did that without a float, man, kudos to you. Absolutely. Wonderful. All right, so let's see if that has gone down. It's not going down, so we're just we're just gonna is it, is it even working now? I'm starting to think yeah, it's it's it, it is working. The plane. I'm I'm not really sure. You know, at that, this point, are we getting any closer to all to our destination? Are we like floating in the air? What are the headwinds? All right, we're still moving through the air, which is good. Um, it says 72 nautical miles to ill map. I think, I think the ND is broken. Whoa! Yeah, definitely think it's broken. Oh goodness, what's happening here? 
how on earth are we supposed to navigate to our destination this is gonna be very interesting let me let me bring up the ND on this side oh okay but it still says 72 nautical miles that distance is not decreasing wait are we are we even moving to wait what Holy, what is going on here? We're not moving. We're floating over the air. Wait. Wait, what? Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? How did that happen? Oh. Oh, I know how that happened. I exactly know how that happened. When I put in my SimBrief username, when I put that SimBrief username, I, I hit a P. I hit a P there. And that's when the Sim got paused. And that's why I don't like live pause. That's active pause going on there. Oh, goodness. Were we, were we burning fuel or something? That is, that's gonna be sad. All right, we're now moving 67 nautical miles. Oh boy, goodness, this is hilarious. <laughs> this is absolutely hilarious. Now that's moving, wonderful. That, that should go in the fails video. That should go in the fails video. Absolutely should go to the fails video, not gonna lie. Yeah, now we're moving. We're moving for sure. <laughs> like, I, I don't even know how long we were doing that for. Can, can someone can someone actually check how long we were, like, not going anywhere? Oh, boy. This is hilarious. <laughs> Alright, so Aviation Master says, No huge float. Stop with around 700 feet left. Wow, that's that's great. That is absolutely great. All right, so just just want to make sure. Uh, yeah, I think I think the stream's running smooth. It is. I'm monitoring it on my phone, and it doesn't doesn't seem like it. But yeah, you'll check check. <laughs> yeah, but better. I, I don't even know how much time we wasted on this. God, this is crazy. All right, so 225 is the distance now. So we still have quite a long way to go. So what I'm gonna do is let's let's bring up some trivia here. Let's see what we have. Questions. Let's see. All right. Um. Uh, let's see. What what question? Are, are you guys ready for it? Let's let's do this. Let's do this. Let's let's get you guys answer some questions. Seven minutes. Oh boy, that's a lot of time. We probably burnt seven minutes worth of fuel as well. Who knows? Who knows? But what year? So here's the question. I there there was a plane called Howard Hughes H four Hercules. You can use Google. But there was a there was a plane called Howard Hughes H4 Hercules, or it was also known as the Spruce Goose. How many engines did that plane have? How many engines did that plane have? Let's see. Let's see who gets this first. Use Google's your best friend if you don't know the answer. Eight. Eight is the right answer. Boy, that was quick. That's quick to the Sky Studios with a point here. We're gonna do five questions today and then we'll go from there. Eight is the right answer, my friends. Every US president from uh, and this 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 is a little bit I, th I think most of our public is US. So let's see. Um, so every US president from Franklin D. Roosevelt to William Bill Clinton has had an airport named after him. There's one president that does not have an airport named after him. 
<laughs> Air Force One. Air Force One is not the right answer. What is the name of the president that does not have an airport named after him? It's crazy, huh? Every president until Bill Clinton. Every president until Bill Clinton at an airport. So we're, we're probably soon going to get an Obama airport as well. Someday. No, 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 no. no. Unt until Bill Clinton. The question is until Bill Clinton. Obama and the others that came after do not have um, do not have it yet but until Clinton no Clint, Clinton has a has a, an airport or uh, but the answer is just just a little bit before that and Trump yeah so before before Clinton so that let, let me rephrase the question again um, hold on where did it go Every U.S. president from Franklin Roosevelt to Bill Clinton has had an airport named after him except one. So it's basically from that, you know, not, not, not after Clinton, so not Obama, not Trump, not Biden. Um, gotta go from Roosevelt to Clinton. Man, you guys are taking long. <laughs> you guys, Google is your best friend. Imagine Googling for that. Just, just, we're just monitoring this. It says 196 miles from, uh, which is, which is kind of weird. Let me see what it shows on here. Yeah, this, this might be a long one from C Dad. That's OKBK OK right there. So that's probably how it is. Uh, what is that? BSR. I think it's user or something. Do we have, do we have any answers here? Right, so I think this ice is still there, so we're gonna turn on the engine anti ice and the wing anti ice right there and see how the plane's looking like. Yeah, there's there's a little bit of ice there and then a little bit on the engines as well. We'll see if, if we can get it melted. Truman? No, Truman has an airport. Truman does have it. Alright, so I think I think I think you guys have had enough time for this question, probably too hard. Um, so I'm gonna reveal the answer. The answer is the answer is Richard Nixon. That's that's the right answer. He does not have an airport named after him, but every other president does have an airport that is named after him. So we'll we'll call that we'll call that a um, call it you know just just a tied round. So we still have two the Sky Studios leading with one point here. Um, so um, here's here's an interesting question again a little bit from the history um, O'Hare Airport the Chicago O'Hare K-O-R-D Chicago O'Hare Airport is is the O-R-D the part that says O-R-D where did it get that from is O'Hare is there's nowhere O-R-D so it, it got its name from from what the airport was named before it was named O'Hare what was that name from where it actually got its IKO ORD KORD Chicago O'Hare how did it get ORD what was the name of the airport before O'Hare this one this one should be easy for some of you guys I believe came from Butch O'Hare American here no that's that's not where it came from not not the name not the name O'Hare the the actual ORD what airport did it come from like because ORD does not stand for O'Hare ORD actually stands for some other name that Chicago had before it was renamed to O'Hare so what is that name of that old old Chicago airport name let's put it that way Let's put it that way. Orchard Field and the red. Yep, yep, yep. That's that's absolutely correct answer. But no jump. <laughs> Taking a point here. Taking a point. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. There is. That is right. Uh, 
Orchard Field Airport is the right answer. XP Aviation, my man. Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you had a great stream earlier. And hope you had a great landing. Stellar, stellar, stellar stream, buddy. Always, always a pleasure to watch you, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Aviation Mazars is Arkard Field. I, I live one hour away from Chicago. I saw that when I flew to Fort Lauderdale a few days ago. A few months ago, rather. All right. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Still streaming. Oh, boy. And thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Even when you're still streaming, always, 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 always appreciate that support, buddy. Always, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I hope it's going well. I, I did not, I did not notice it was a long haul, man. Or, or is it a medium haul? That's three questions down. We got two winners here. Um, while XP answers, we're gonna go with the next, um, next question. Um. All right, here's here's a good question for Supersonic. Here's a question for Supersonic. All you Supersonic fans out there, remember. All right, let's let's read XP first. Uh, medium haul about five hours. All right, not bad, not bad, buddy, not bad, not bad. Hope it's going well. Hope the plane's behaving properly for you, and you know, just just have fun, buddy. Welcome and really appreciate you have uh, you being here. All right, time for the next question. Supersonic, the SR-71, the Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird, by far the world's fastest plane. What Mach number did it fly at? What it what was the max Mach number was the SR-71 Blackbird able to achieve? Let's see if we get that one rise. And in the meantime, I'll go check on the all. So we're 120, so 155 miles out. Mach 3, you're close, you're close, but that is not the right answer. You're close. Mach 3.2, super close, super close XP. <laughs> XP is Close, but that's still not the right answer. Nope. Mach 3. You're, you guys are close, but you're still not at that exact number. There was a Mach 3 point something. 3 point something. It's somewhere around there. Yep. Absolutely. You can use Google as well. No, 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 nothing. We're just doing this for fun. Sharing some knowledge here. 3.3. .3, that's the right answer. That is the right answer. 3.3 Mach 3.3 .3 was the speed for Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird. Where Google says 3.2. Oh well, the the you know what? Let me search that because the the document that I'm referring says 3.3. Let me see SR-71 top speed in Mac yeah it could be wrong um, Wow apparently apparently it did reach a top speed of 3.4 as well so it's everyone's giving out different answers on different websites so uh, some some are saying 3.2 some are saying so I, I even see 3.5 um, so apparently they so we will never know. We'll never know. So we're gonna scrap that question. Oh boy. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can get other questions. All right. So, okay. Let's let's go with the question here. Let's we'll grab that question. We, are, we did three questions. We got two winners, Bundo and um, to the Sky Studios. We're going to go ahead and ask you another question. I'm pretty sure you guys know KLM is the world's oldest airline, which was established in 1919. There was another airline, which is the second oldest airline, which was found in 1920. What is that airline? And it, it is still in operation. What is the world's second oldest airline? XP 
Evianca? Nope. That is not it. So 133 miles. We're getting there. We're getting there. Look at that beautiful scenery out here. Nope. Second, 1920. The airline was found in 1920, which is the world's second oldest. Qantas, Qantas it is. Qantas is the right answer. That is what I found. Um, and I think, I think I, I might have not, because your answer, Avianca, Avianca is correct, if that's the second oldest airline. But I think, I think the question, I, you know, this document is messed up, but, but I'll, I'll take Avianca, Avianca, whoever did that, like, you know, maybe I asked it in the wrong way. Well, we'll go with Avianca to the sky studio. So to the sky is at two points now. To the sky's two points. One though is at one point and we got one tied round. So we got one more question to answer and then we'll have the winner for today. And if needed, we'll do a tiebreaker. Yeah, um, Avianca was a port, apparently 1919 and Qantas was 1920. Qantas was 1920. Um, but yeah, all right, so here's an easy question. If you love planes, you gotta know this. Which, which is the plane whose wingspan is greater than the length of the plane? Whose wings are bigger than the length? And here's a little hint here. Boom, there's your hint right there. Gotcha. All right, so Let's check, let's check the weather here, 310, at 3 knots. So we're going to go to destination, arrival, um, and then 180. So we're going to take 15. We're going to take 15 left here, the ILS. Um, and uh, no star apparently. Same brief, didn't give us one. And then no transition, and let's ILS 15 left. Let's insert that and see how it goes. A380 is the right answer, Bono Jump. There is a tie now. There is a tie. So we're gonna do a tiebreaker in a second. History Gamer says, hey man, was eating dinner. I am back now. How's it going? Well, for a change, the plane is behaving. The plane is behaving, so that is always, always a welcome news. Well, welcome, 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 History Gamer. Welcome back, my friend. You're gonna be in for a treat. Hopefully, we can land this thing right. We're taking 1-5 left for landing. Now let's check our route here real quick and see how it goes from there. Um, so interesting. Let's go to plan phase and then let's go and bring the zoom down a little bit. Let's hit that. But what's happening here is um uh, going bringing all the way so we don't gotta we don't have to go to iweta we can actually go just all the way to direct reran from here so let's hit that and let's hit reran and let's hit insert we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna do a tiebreaker here just just want to make sure the route is correct all right yeah that is looking much better see that is something that we don't want to take so, and these are going to be the final. So we're, we're pretty much almost straight in at this point. Almost straight in here. Let's see how far we are. 79 miles. We better start our descent here. Because we changed the route. It, it's causing some trouble there. So let's bring her down all the way to 9,000 feet. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be starting our descent right now. If you haven't already, make sure to get back to your seats. And we'll get back to you when we're closer to the landing. Actually, my bad. Let's increase the brightness on this one here. Can we? All right, that's that's the one. The length. Seventy-nine 
600 while wow, the length and the a320 200 really why are these guys giving me wrong questions oh boy all right i'll skip that as well then i'll skip that if, if what you say is true i'm not gonna fact check it <laughs> but this is not going the way it should be all right Here's the thing, which airport, which airport in America was originally named Idlewild Airport? Which airport in America was originally named Idlewild Airport? Let's see, I'm pretty sure there's only one answer to that. We'll, we'll try to stay away from questions that do not have one answer. 090 uh, let's enter destination data here. Perf, next phase. QNH is gonna be 1011. And uh, temperature. Let's see if it's updated here. Temperature is going to be 17 and Winds are 180 at 3. So temperature 17. Winds 180 at 3. And transition altitude, we don't know what the decision height for the ILS is going to be 200. We're good with that. Final pro speed 132. Let's see if we can make that descent here. Just, just gonna give it a little bit of speed brakes here as we go. That's a lot of speed brakes. Oops. Just a little less. Guys, what airport was named Idlewild? This is not a tile breaker around because A380 is probably not the only answer, so you cannot really ask that question. But well, we have, we have this one. So if, if, if you get it right to this guy's studios, then you win this one. If, if Bundo gets it right or anyone else gets it right, then the scenario will change. All right, 40. Sending nicely. I'm gonna do is actually get rid of this now. Wait, what? Let's bring up the constraints here. We're already descending here. 2400 at Rerun is what we're aiming for. So let's go ahead and bring that. And let's bring her 3000, 2400 here. Once we hit once we're near 10,000 feet, we'll go hit speed of 250 or less. And just bringing the full spoilers out. A lovable in flight. And that will bring us down sooner. We've got 30 miles to get to 2,500. We're right, gonna keep that speed alive. Oh wait, I, I missed I missed it. I missed it. I missed the chat here. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. My my Firefox had some issues. Muhammad Zul Zul Kifli, I hope I didn't butcher your name, but welcome to the stream, buddy. Welcome, 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 welcome. Yeah, my chat my chat was not loading. That was the problem. Hello. Welcome Muhammad. Pleasure to see you. Pleasure to see you guys. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that like button. Um, and if you haven't already and if you're enjoying the content and if this is your first time on the channel Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It was always 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 appreciate each and every one of your support 
by let's get back to the answers here JFK who got the answer right hold on LAX no <laughs> JFK aviation master got it right that means that to the sky studios had two correct answers aviation master with one and bundle with one so today's winner is is to the sky studios well done buddy and everyone better luck next time we're always gonna have these kind of trivias and we'll just just do everything that we can here but everyone 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 thank you thank you thank you so much for playing the game we're still coming down 9,800 feet oh boy we did not check the speed let's go all the way down to 245 here no but but I had the a380 which was right um, but but then there were other planes as well so I decided to scrap that one so today's winner yeah, if, if A380 would have been the correct answer, apparently there's other planes that are also right answers. So I cannot accept, like, you know, I cannot ask questions that are not perfect. So, uh, so that's why. I mean, you guys can, you guys can share the crown. No worries, no worries. You guys can always share the crown. <laughs> right, guys, let's see, let's see what we have here. Um, yeah, we're sitting on 15 likes. Let's go for 20 if we can. Always, always, always a player. Right? 452 on the subscribers. That is so, so, so awesome, guys. Thank you so, so much for all your support out there. I'll take a tie with Bundle. All right, wonderful. GG, Bundle, and To The Sky Studios. You guys are the champions today. <laughs> and let's, let's bring the speed brakes up just a little bit. 245 let's bring the speed down to 230 actually 205 and let me bring up the other camera here uh, controls cam and as we drop the speed we're gonna go and bring out the flaps to one position here all right speed under 230 knots at 220 we'll go flaps one There's the slats coming out for you guys, as you can see, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. The airport is right there, I believe. That's where the airport is. And uh, let's bring the LSs online. And we're gonna get rid of the music now. We're getting there. T miles we're gonna go there give it some more speed break here now let's check the nav radio here make sure we have the ILS frequency 110.1 is what it shows here I'm gonna go get myself the charts oh did I close it all right hold on I closed it Wait, why are we climbing? Hold! Hello! No, 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 What happened there? Buddy, stop the climb, please. For God's sake, stop the climb. Alright, let's bring this flaps to two here. Hopefully that stops the climb here. Come on, come on, get down. More speed brakes. All right, we're back to descending now. We might have to hold around there to get the ILS, but we do have the ILS, so I don't have to look at the chart anymore. What are your planned flights next week? Um, next week I haven't planned yet, but we'll probably be doing leg 14 on t on Monday and then X plane on Thursday. Uh, but this week Thursday we're gonna do a delivery flight, the 7478 delivery flight. And we're probably gonna be running some giveaways as well if, if possible that's gonna be on Thursday so if you guys haven't already make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't not miss out on any of those giveaways but we're going here we're going here where I don't think we're gonna be able to make it just, just trying to bring ourselves down here any West Coast flights? Yep, that the delivery flight is actually going to be West Coast uh, from Boeing Field to Los Angeles. That's that's where the that's where we're going to fly. 
all right 2500 is the restriction here that we gotta make we're obviously gonna have to have localizers on we have 2400 here uh, and hopefully we can make it right there otherwise we'll just vector ourselves to get there um, actually you know what I'm just gonna do it all right we're turning left here and I also gotta get the flight recorder going for the replay don't forget we have replays going on here um, that's where we are uh, what is that it's very hazy out there probably the textures haven't loaded in the flight recorder is right here can I interest you in VFR sand too? Yeah, we could try something like that. We could definitely try something like that. Uh, let's let's bring ourselves to the right here on the heading. We're not doing the localizer yet. Just trying to bring ourselves down. And then I, th I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's let's hit localizer here. And let's bring the speed down to 135. And what was our final approach speed here in Perf? Uh, next phase, 132. Let's bring the speed brakes back. Let's go. Lights on. Anti-ice can go off. Runway turn off, strokes can come on as well. Seat belts are on. Now let's get the approach mode going. Mr. Approach altitude 3000 feet is what we're gonna go and put it right here. Water, please. Yep, we're gonna try. 3500 and let's. 3000 here that's good and the final approach speed is 132 okay apparently it's just doing that so we're gonna click 132 let's set auto brakes speed brakes and be armed Lapse three localizer is coming alive Hopefully we'll turn in a second here. We're not paused. We are not paused. Now let's go flaps full, gear down. Get your landing rate predictions in. I'm gonna start the record. Here we go. We're still not on the glide. We're 2,000 feet. There's the runway. I have it in sight. Once we get the glide slope alive, we can go ahead and water this, or a crazy PZ as we call it. Eyes off the chat now. Eyes are off the chat. We'll focus on the landing and I'll get back to the chat and when we get down on the ground. Let's check the cabin. Cabin crew, please be seated for the landing. All right, glide slope is alive. And my airplane. Let's get her down. All right, starting to pitch down a little for the glide slope.
Runway Insights. Don't forget to get your landing rate predictions in. Doing a steady, we're doing a thousand feet per minute right now, but we're, I think that's what the glide slope. Actually, it's 900 feet per minute, and that's just a little bit too much. So it's a, it's a standard glide slope. We got the poppies in sight. Slightly left of course. Oh wait, why do we have a tailwind here? And that's that's a heavy tailwind. All right, so we're gonna. So the apparently the weather that it showed there wasn't good. So we're gonna try landing with a tailwind here. Never done that before. Look at those buildings. Kuwait, here we are. Obviously the tailwind here, three reds. Let's pull the nose back up a little. Let's bring her down, baby. Oh boy, rip frames. Come on frames, come back. I'll take that, that's a greasy PZ for you guys. Reversers, negative 83 feet per minute. Boy, oh boy, I'll take that any day with that kind of frames. Boy, this is madness. All right, 80, 60 knots, reverse is stowed, speed brakes and go off here. And let's, let's exit the next one, wherever we have it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kuwait. There is a greasy peasy or a butter landing for you guys. I don't know why we're stopping there. But we're gonna exit next right here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Captain K. Peterkin, welcome to the stream, my friend. Pleasure to have you as always. Thank you so much. Oh boy, those frames were making me nervous. I gotta figure out a way to not have that happen. Uh, and I increase the speed here. And we're gonna turn this right. Give it a little bit of differential braking so we don't overrun or go out of the runway here. And let's continue that taxi here. It's just a little bit fiddly there. Just a little bit fiddly. But we're going to obviously go ahead and watch the replay. So don't go anywhere. We're just going to the gate now. I'm going to bring up the charts for taxi. And let's bring that throttle back down here. Um, let me get that. There's nothing on the left, so we're definitely turning right. There's some cars parked there. I think that's where the terminal is. Charts will make it clear. There we go. It's it's really hard to handle the planes on, on this sim for some reason. I don't know why. But it's, it's just how it is. All right, so we're going to taxi straight ahead, and then we're going to turn left. Um, that would be at, at Echo 9, apparently. So that's what we're going to do. So let's bring the music back. Man, you're hilarious, <laughs> Elon, bro. You're hilarious. At least you didn't lose all, lose all your frames, but... 
Starship SN11 lost its frames today, y'all. I did not see that, but that's not a good thing to hear. Why is your radio stack not on? Um, I, I still have to figure out a way to make it work with uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. It does work perfectly fine with X-Plane 11, so that's why it's not on and I'm not using it. But yeah, if, if, if you have a way to figure out how to do that, um, I would be all yours. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely. But yeah, that's that's why it's not on, so I, I don't use it. Oh, there's someone here. Uh, obviously, you forgot to turn off our lights. Uh, there we go. Let's bring those down. Taxi can remain on runway. Turnoffs can remain on. Strobes can go. Strobes can go back to auto, and we're good. We're good. Let's continue that taxi here. Slow down a little. Even on idle taxi, we're doing 33 knots for some reason. I have no clue why. Let's just continue that. And let's retract the flaps here. Wait, apparently I got a notification for some Windows achievements for the sim. I don't know why. I don't care about those. <laughs> slow her down here and make that turn and uh, I can still go ahead it's a big airport apparently Still on idle throttle, mind you. Oh, apparently the white lights, I mean the, the center line lights are missing here, which is crazy. So here's that's that's the thing that you know that, that makes me sometimes you know just not like this sim sometimes, you know, is that there's just, just things like this. Like, yeah, at least there's lights so we can have a center line, otherwise we had no center line here. I don't know why. Or what but now I think yeah that's some other photorealistic texture there and then we again have those lines there and we're gonna turn right here and that's where the gates are oh boy oh where did he come from <laughs> oh my goodness oh, hold on it's probably an a3 30 we're gonna turn right here man I did not know he was there <laughs> good lord <laughs> captain campbell says logitech has new plugins download and should turn on if not map button for battery one on okay okay I'll definitely check that out captain campbell thank you so so much and welcome to the stream Sorry, I was in the middle of the whole landing thing, so I did not welcome you, but welcome, welcome, welcome. Pleasure to have you, my friend. Welcome, one and all. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be jumping straight into the replays. What do we have there? Yeah, that's the gate, so we're going to go there. We're not going to turn off our engines here. Runway turn off lights can come off. The taxi lights are already off here. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome to Kuwait. 13 legs down, 67 more to come, but power is coming, my friends. Power is coming soon. Now let's get that parking brake going. Speed brakes can be disarmed now. Let's check the lights here. Beacon light can stay on. Strobe lights can come. Oh boy, why? All right, let's 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 put it at auto here. Seat belts can come on, and we're gonna jump into the replays. Time to run the music, my friends. Here we go. 
We're not gonna turn off the engines, otherwise we're gonna see ourselves as the engines without the engines, the plane flying without the engines. How well does the Bravo work with A320 to 10? Um, it doesn't. It doesn't work perfectly well right now. So those those markers are not not perfect for this sim. But I, I've tried on Tolis and the Magnite. On uh, sorry, not the Magnite, but the Flight Factor one. Um, and those things those things work like a charm, man. Not gonna lie. Those things absolutely work like a charm. So here we are. You know, we're gonna bring ourselves down. I don't know. Yeah, that was some issue going on there. So what we're, what we're gonna do is pause this, bring ourselves on that final approach here, and let's do this. Uh, resume. But yeah, so if there was if there was a way, uh, let me get rid of the control scam here for before that. But yeah, if there was a way to actually map those detent positions like they do on on the flight factor a350 on x-plane that would be awesome like right now it's it's you just you just gotta hear for like here for the clicks on the detents that's all you gotta do but you know, like unfortunately it doesn't work now but on on x-plane it works like a charm here we go on the final resume let's watch that Rip frame. For some reason, the frames on the replays are even worse than we actually get. I have no clue why, but here we go. Better frames now. Here we go. Just a little bit of float there, but that was beautiful. Beautiful. Center line on point, not floating too much as well, which is always, always, always a great news. Go back, watch from the, uh, watch from that view right here. Oh boy. What's going on? All right, let's let's look at it from a little far away. Frames are back. Coming in, no smoke. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> it still has a lot, a lot, and a lot of places to improve. But hey, at least we get the replays with crappy frame rates. I have no clue why. All right, here we go. I, I don't think those counts are accurate. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I absolutely love that. Let's change our camera angle. Go to one last view of the city and the landing. Let's hit resume. Let's watch that boy come down. Look at those buildings down below. The shadow for for a change is looking good as well. My goodness, guys. Let's see what we have here. Beautiful scenes. Look at that. What a beautiful screenshot that could be. Once we get closer, I'll get you back to the wing loop. Mystery Gamer's favorite. <laughs> view that is the wing view so obviously we're gonna do that there can't be a stream where we don't do a wing view on the replay at least here we go coming down so Kuwait Airways the so next one is definitely gonna be the Emirates the Emirates flight here we are obviously it showed we were below the glide slope but here the poppies were like almost on point so Take it with a grain of salt. Here we go. Maybe I went a little too back. 
But here we are, look at that. Oh, look like we're landing on the patch there, not on the runway. All right, there we go. The tarmac is your runway is in view. And there we go. That's not a lot of floats. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Nonetheless, it was a greasy PC landing, guys. <laughs> this is gonna be it from today's stream it has been an absolute pleasure to be back streaming to you guys wonderful 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 news thank you so so much for everyone who stopped by on the stream thank you for all the likes and all you know all the support that you guys give me you know just 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 keep doing what you do spread the love for aviation spread the love in general you know it's, the world needs a lot of people who are good and who are good at heart thank you so so much guys again for stopping by once again this is gonna be it from today's stream until then bye bye take care stay safe everyone sim aviator is signing out peace <laughs>